Now that we've imported the textures we'd need in the previous step, we can bring the textures into the material and start making this grass look better. So I'm currently still in my um, textures folder and we need to be in the landscape practice material. So you can see I've left mine open up here, but if you need to open it again, it'll be in your materials folder. Uh, but I'm just gonna access it from over here. And what we're gonna do to make this more textures is we're gonna replace this constant three vector node with a texture sample node. So the first thing we need to do is delete this. You could just disconnect it. So if you want to disconnect, disconnect a node, you hold the Alt key on your keyboard, left click, and that disconnects it. But there would be no point in us keeping that because it's gonna be redundant. So I'm just gonna click on it and press the delete key and that's gone. I do want to keep the roughness node because I want this to stay quite rough, but I also need to now create a texture sample node. So I'm gonna do that by right clicking and if I just start typing T-E-X-T-U-R-E and texture sample just appears here. You could type all of texture sample or again, you could get texture sample from in here as well. But we'll create a new texture sample node. And I already know that I want to plug this into base color. So I'll do that already. Now you can see this has already got the grass in there. It's not actually what I wanted, but I'm going to leave this little mistake in the video so I can show you why it's happened. So I've got grass there. The reason that appeared then with the grass 2 um, texture is because in here I had grass 2 selected, I believe. Maybe not. Or at least it thought I had grass 2 selected. Anyways, um, it will either create a blank texture sample node um, or one with a material that you might have had selected already. And what I want to do is actually now select the right one. So making sure that I've got this node selected, you can see here, this is the section that is saying, here's what sort of texture to use. So I'm going to go to my drop down box and I'm looking for grass underscore D, which is my diffuse. Um, just so you know what's happening with the naming conventions, diffuse goes into your base color node. So I'll just let that update. And you can see now this is the kind of nice thick grass that I'm looking for. It almost matches up with the color that I had before. Uh, but now it's got a little bit more texture to it. So once I've done that, what I need to do is save this material again. So I'll let that happen. And now we can have a look at how that looks in level. So I'm going to go back to the level editor and you can see now this is updated to show um, the grass. So as I always like to do, I'm just going to have a little run around and see what this looks like. If you see these lines, I've made sure I turn these lines back on. Um, it was to do with my shadow quality that I was previewing. I had it turned all the way down. So I've turned that up a little bit because you're likely to see these lines as well. And they're nothing to worry about. They will disappear when we build lighting later. But what I'm interested in is looking at the grass. And you can see this now looks much better than it did previously. I do have one issue with it though, and that's that it looks very flat. Um, it's almost like we've printed out um, grass on some paper and stuck it to the floor. So we want this to look a little bit more textured. And in order to do that, we're going to use a normal map, which is what we'll cover in the next step. So I'll see you there for that one. Enjoy looking at your grass. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your learning further, I recommend an introduction to Unreal Engine 4 by Andrew Sanders and Unreal Engine 4 Game Development Essentials by Satish PV. Check them out using the links in the video description below. Special thanks to my awesome patrons whose names are displayed on screen for supporting this video. If you'd also like to support my channel then go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.